Yo, what is up guys, this is Tilo back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna show you the Nitrogen OS on Redmi Note 3 again because I feel it's better than the last build and quite a lot of improvements right there and I think this time with no new features but with lot of performance improvements. So let me make it happen but before that if you are wondering about AEX ROM, well I did flash the official AEX ROM. But there was some bugs about the video calling, I mean native quality video calling and with normal quality voice calling too. So I couldn't simply make a quality call out of the AEX ROM. So I chose not to use it. I will be doing a video on that too whenever it becomes at least a daily driver for me at least. So without further delay, let's make it happen. So I have been using 11th May 2018 build of Nitrogen OS on Redmi Note 3 for almost one and a half or two days now and if you have seen the previous build video of Nitrogen OS that I did you should know that in that build there was couple of stutters here and there and gaming performance was straight bad but in this build I am seeing really nice improvements and the performance of Nitrogen OS is back again on track. I have to say, this is the best performing audio ROM for Redmi Note 3 yet again. 5th of May 2018 security patch here. Camera is working fine over here. I have been using GC Mod 5 to take some pictures. And here are some sample shots for you. Here is a PUBG pan that I picked up from our kitchen and watch the video till the end for the gameplay round. Here is the battery life that I got. As you can see, almost 4.5 hours of screen on time right there with almost 25% battery left. And note that this is with my casual usage and the battery saver mode never been turned on with this usage and I didn't play any games while this usage And in terms of customizations, everything is fine as before. I don't see anything new here. Swiping a finger on the status bar to adjust brightness. Double tap to sleep, double tap to wake. Power button torch, lock screen charging info. Everything is still there and working super fine. And yeah, native quality video calling and audio calling working fine here too. So no issues with those. Here is a demo of working face unlock. And now, how about I throw some PUBG right here? If you do enjoy the gameplay, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon as well if you have not yet. So conclusion, battery life might be improved with software updates in the future as I feel the battery life is still in the lower side. But in my opinion with this kind of stability, the battery life is still fine for me. Overall at least from me, the ROM is pretty much a 9 out of 10. So there you have it. So that wraps up this video guys, thank you so much for watching. 
hit the big thumbs up button if you liked my work and subscribe to our channel right here if you loved my work. This has been Tito and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye now.